Hi, and welcome to The Gear Garage. My name is Zach, and this is my little show about whitewater stuff. In today's episode, I want to talk about leaving an eddy as a team and entering an eddy as a team. And this is not an official lesson. You know, this is, there's no lesson plan here. This is just me with some video I want to share with some just opinions and comments about what I like to see in boating. And for some of you that know with me, that boat with me, or have taken a class from, from me or some of my guides, you'll know that team boating is a really important skill. And the idea of team boating is that we're just working together to get down the river. So if you've, if you've gotten yourself down a class four rapid, cool. I don't think that's enough to be considered a class four boater. I think you need to be able to row the rapid and maintain proper distance between you and the boat downstream and upstream from you. So you have to sometimes push, sometimes pull. You can't only have one way to boat and to be able to occasionally look back. You can't just be focused on the task in hand in front of you. You also have to be able to check on your friends as well as like catch eddies as a group and be a, a valid team member. If you just get in the eddy and celebrate how awesome you are and don't think about your team, that's not class four boating to me. You can probably get away with that in class two and three, but in my opinion, not in class four and class five. So with that said, let's talk about some, some ideas for leaving an eddy as a team first. So, so when you have a bunch of boats getting ready to leave, you want to be able to leave so everybody is, has the proper spacing. If one boat just takes off and they swim, nobody can really rescue them. So that person has to leave knowing the next boat's behind them and next boat's behind them and next boat's behind them. Because if the last boat's really slow, the first boat has to eventually slow down to let them catch up. I'm not sure if that makes sense. But the goal here is to leave as a group at the same time with good spacing for safety. And so it, it's hard to do. This is actually really hard to do. It's worth practicing. But the principle is that whoever's first or you know the trip leader or whatever gets everybody's attention in the group and makes sure they're ready. And I used to do that by like doing, you know, asking, are you ready? Are you ready? I know a lot of you know this is the, the symbol for are you okay? And the answer is yes, I'm okay. But it's also used a lot for are you ready? So I would go to every single person and do this to them back in the day. And then a friend of mine from Colorado showed me this super cool trick that they do where the trip leader puts their arm up. And so if the trip leader is ready to go, they put their arm up, they wait for everybody's arm to go up. And when everybody in their group's arm is up, that means they're ready to go. That doesn't mean they're like tying their shoe while their arm's up. That's not, they're not on shore holding their, their boat like, like perched. They are like five seconds away from floating it down. And so when everybody's ready, ready, the first boat can leave with confidence knowing the second boat, who is their safety, is right behind them. And the third boat's behind them and the fourth boat and so on and so on and so, so, on and so forth. The goal is for everybody to leave from different sides of the river, potentially different parts of the river, and kind of come together as a team and go downstream. So here's a quick video that kind of demonstrates that. So in this example, there's about 10 boats. This is two different groups. And the first group, the first, I'm gonna call it a pod. The first pod is gonna leave. It's one big group of 10 and two pods. And you'll notice that, that green circle is around the troop leader of the first group. He's putting his arm up, trying to get everybody's attention. And the members of his team are putting their arm, arm, up, their, sorry, their arm up when they're ready, but he's waiting for one person. And this is critical. You need to make sure you have positive visual cues from everybody saying, yeah, I'm ready. My arm is up. I'm hundred percent ready because when this black boat leaves, if he falls out, his safety is the next boat down. And so he wants to do his very best to leave this eddy again in proper boat spacing in an order that was agreed on ahead of time. So we're just going to watch for a second and kind of see how this unfolds. This is, we've been practicing. This. this is a few days of practice to get to where things kind of come together really beautifully. So you'll see that yellow cataract has had a little bit of struggle. That's the second boat getting out, which is fine. We do make mistakes. Things aren't perfect. But now the yellow boat is going to try to push forward and catch up while the black boat, when he sees that, slows down. And he has to look back to see that. He can't just go down and assume people are going to catch up. And this is both of them working together right now to get that spacing between boat one and two minimal. And I like having boat one and two pretty close because if boat one swims, Boat two is the best chance to save them. And then you'll see boats three and four, they know their timing, they know their position, they kind of just get out ready to go. 
And to me, this is pretty good boat spacing. Maybe a tiny bit tight, but you'll see boat three is pulling back to slow things down. And they're going to take a minute and get in the right boat position and spacing. And now they're ready to save each other if there's a swimmer. So next is catching eddies as a team. And this is pretty similar. You're in your boat spacing. And I, I like tight boat spacing. It's important to me because you need to be able to rescue each other if you fall out. If you're really far away, it's hard to rescue each other. There are times having some distance is good, but we're generally close. And when we're close, we come into eddies hot. And so generally, the first boater tries to catch the eddy really high. Not always, but generally. And the next person goes right behind them and right behind them and so on, so on and so forth. But sometimes the eddy is not quite that big. And so whoever's first in the eddy, I like to just get in the eddy, get my boat up on shore, jump out and be ready to grab the next person coming down. If you catch that eddy and you're just like, yeah, I'm awesome, I did a really good job. And you're, you're high-fiving the next person, you guys are sitting there in the eddy talking and the next two boats come by and they don't have help, they can't catch it, they're gonna float in the next rapid. That's just not safe. That's just not good boating. And so again, you're, you're getting in the eddy as high as you can, pulling your boat out of the way, making eddy space for others and being ready to catch them. And once your whole team is there, all high fives all around, you can celebrate each other, talk about how awesome your lines were and then do your next thing. So here's a quick example of what that looks like. Now we're watching that same group and they're about to catch an eddy here on the left. And this is a tough eddy. It's small. You could blow by this if you're not careful. And so, again, some of the key things is trying to catch it high, having the first boat try to catch it high and kind of slide down, and then making room for others and jumping out quickly to help everybody else get in. So you'll see the lead boat is, is pulling in. I think pulling is a smart thing to do here instead of pushing. Uh, you can push into this eddy if you, ca if you push really early and do it high. But he's going to pull the shore, and you'll notice he jumps out, and he's ready to help other people come in. Kind of, His boat's fine. He didn't have to pull it up. It's fine. And pulls the next boat in to make room. And there's more boats coming. They just keep coming. The cat's finding a nice spot he feels good about. And now the two boaters are out to catch the next one. If everybody had come in without any help or making room for each other, this could have been a, a real mess. Like there could have been boats everywhere and people pumped out. This required or people bumped out. This required the first boats to get there, get out of the boat, help each other. And then once everybody's stable on shore, then celebrate and say, yeah, we did a good job. Finally, let's complicate this a little bit. Let's have our group in the eddy and another group comes down. This can be another pod with you or just a whole separate group that needs to catch the eddy for a number of reasons, because it's a camp, it's a scout for a big rapid, a portage, but they need to catch the eddy. So when you see a group come down, you need to have some awareness and be thoughtful and helpful to them. This is super important because you're hogging the eddy right now. So this is where you pull your boats up really out of the way and you come down to the shore and as they come in, you grab them and you help them go, hey, welcome, I got you. And then maybe hold their boat while one of them jumps out. But this involves everybody working together to create eddy space and to pull people in. And this is really important. I see all the time groups missing eddies because people are just sitting there and somebody can't stop. And so hopefully this seems obvious and hopefully it is obvious, but it may not be to everybody. And I've a couple times seen some really bad accidents just come from not paying attention to people coming down. And that's why it's so important to me. So the first boat's there and you'll notice they're getting their boats kind of tied up and super stable. And they're in the water ready when the first boat comes down. You'll see three people in the water. They have some distance. And when the first boat comes down, the blue dry suit guy, they're really small, so I'm not sure you can tell if they're blue, grabs that yellow boat because the yellow boat, the, the their boats are in the prime eddy spot. But they grab it, pass them down, and put them into the last few spots remaining. And the thing here is, again, the first boats down kind of took the prime spots. So they want to do their best to get out of the way, but whatever's left uh, it's hard to catch. It's really hard to catch and requires the people on shore to kind of help maneuver boats around so that everybody can get in the eddy together. This is definitely a teamwork exercise and you just can't do this. You know, if everybody's, you, you can't do this without paying attention to each other. If you, the first group got there and they're in the eddy talking and they pull up on shore and they're chit chatting on their boats and the next group comes down, they're probably not going to catch this eddy and they're going to be forced to run the next rapid. So hopefully this makes sense why like being thoughtful of others and working as a team to catch eddies to me is such a critical skill 
for running rivers. Again, not critical for class two, but critical for like class three plus four or five. So those are my thoughts. These are just opinions based on my experience. You know, this is, again, not an official class or anything. This is just me sharing some of my thoughts with some video. If you have things to add, you go, hey, Zach, this is dumb. You should have said this instead. Please tell me. If you have better ideas, different ideas, uh, anecdotes, the time when you weren't watching and somebody floated down a class five on accident, I love anecdotes. Please leave them in the comment section below. If you can, please subscribe. I love subscribers. They make me so happy. And it makes me feel valued and special and all those things. So please subscribe. Cost you nothing. Hit the like button. Just tap the like button really, really lightly uh, so other people can see that this is kind of cool content. If this is terrible content, just don't like it. Don't subscribe. Delete it. I mean, don't, don't share it. But if it is, please do. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. See you next time. Thanks.